Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video we're going to be talking all about a really interesting traffic source that you can potentially use to get more traffic to your own pages. Now traffic is the lifeblood of the internet. We all need as much traffic as possible. But whereas everybody's on Google and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest trying to battle each other out, there are other people that while they're using those sites as well, they're also strategically using other sites that are not quite as well known, but are super, super powerful. I'm gonna be revealing one of these to you today. So before we actually go over to the website in question, I'm gonna show you inside of a couple of resources to show you how powerful this traffic source is. So first of all, we're inside a similar web. So what can we see here? We can see 41.8 million visits from November 2020 through to January of this year, 2021. So it's incredibly powerful. This website has a global rank of 3,248 at the time I've been making this video. Now, yes, you know, Facebook, Google, YouTube are the top three, but 3,248 in the grand scheme of things, when we think of how many websites there are out there on the internet, it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. If we come down a little bit, you know, we're just under 14 million monthly visits. 14 million, that is a lot of people. People are sticking around for approximately six minutes, so they're not just, you know, clicking on a few things and disappearing. They're visiting multiple pages as well, which is really, really important. You know, they're going to one page, another page, or on average, we're talking about six pages every time somebody visits this particular website. And um, people are sticking around, you know, they're not just clicking through and then leaving. So it's really, really important. Now, if we come down here, we'll just scroll down a little bit. Um, we can see where the traffic is. You know, it's like channel overview. We've got direct traffic. We've got organic search. We've got a little bit from social. But these, this website is not doing much paid traffic. So you know, people aren't coming to this website from advertisements. They're finding it in other ways, which is really, really important. And the majority of the traffic is top tier. We've got the United States clear at the top. Um, and it's also going up. Brazil and the UK are also going up as well. And then we've got India and China, which do have a bunch of traffic, but they're going down a little bit. So it's increasing in the UK, it's increasing in the US, which is really important. Now, if we flip on over to Ahrefs, which is more of an SEO tool, we can see that it's got you know, a very good backlink profile. It's got a domain rating of 93. And again, we can also see the organic traffic. It's similar, you know, it's it's getting a lot of traffic basically. So Ahrefs says it's a good site. Similar web um, says it's a great site. Now you've probably seen the name here. This website is called Dribble, but it's got triple B. So it's D-R-I-B-B-B-L-E, -B -B -E, which is a bit of a weird spelling, but it is what it is. Now, if we go over to the website here, dribble.com, um, I'll show you inside in a second, but this is what it kind of talks about. You know, it says it's, um, the leading destination to find and showcase creative work and home to the world's best design professionals. Now, I'm not a design professional. I'm not a, I'm not a graphics person, which is what this website is primarily for. But if you think of Pinterest, there are lots of people that take advantage of Pinterest. People upload their images to Pinterest and hope that people will see their images, <clears throat> um, be impressed and click through to the websites. So Dribble can work pretty much in the same way. Now, as a content creator, I'm sure, you know, you create content, whether it's you create videos, you create articles, YouTube videos have thumbnails, articles have images, they have featured images. If you've got your own products, you've got sales pages that have images on them as well. So you do have a bunch of images that you can use. You don't have to be this genius design professional that uses Photoshop, that's not the case. So let's come down and have a look <clears throat> at some of these images. Now, while some are pretty impressive, some of them are fairly basic. So let's just choose something random. Let's just choose this first one here, which looks like a screenshot from someone's um, website. Um, we can kind of have a look at this and we can just get a little bit of information. If we click on this little uh, eye here, we get details. Look, this particular shot has been viewed 30,737 times. It's got likes and it's got comments and saves and all that, but look, it's got 30,000, nearly 31,000 people have viewed this particular image. And as we can see here, there is a link. Now this link goes to this person's Medium blog, which again, if some of that traffic clicks through to the Medium blog, then you know it only helps that Medium 
um, blog post as well. And Medium is a website that ranks very well in the search results. Let's go back and let's look at a different image. Let's just choose something. Look, it's a very basic looking logo. There's nothing flash about this logo. We click on details here. What can we see? 14,570 views of this particular one. And it was posted February the 25th, you know. Now granted, some of these people are pro users and when you join, when you sign up for Dribbble, you get the option to have the free version or the paid version, but still, the amount of traffic is pretty, pretty impressive. So I've already created a free account. I don't have a paid account and it's very, very simple. You'd click on the sign up process and then you would just enter in your details. I've already done this. So I'm just gonna click on sign in. So let me just sign in. Let's sign in there. And now we're inside here. So the first thing we can do is we can click on our little picture. You can upload a profile picture and I'll go to my profile. So let me just click on my profile. And I've only just, uh, I've only got one shot up here. You know, I'm not saying that I'm a professional user of Dribbble. I've just seen the potential of this by looking at the website, looking at its data inside a similar web and Ahrefs and thinking, well, this is something that I could potentially use. So we can see, you know, that I've got an image here. So let's look at how we can actually upload an image. So we click on this little upload, first of all and you can see that you get the dimensions here so they have to be big images 1600 by 1200. Um, you can upload videos if you're a pro as well if you're a pro version but i'm just going to stick with the um, regular ones i'm going to click on this and i do have an image that i resized so that it's suitable to upload and it's this one here which is a roadmap from my video marketing inside a membership so you upload your um, image and it kind of scans it to make sure it's the right size we'll give it a title so that's my file name so i'm just going to call this email marketing and conversions roadmap now we've got to give it some tags so this is for branding and this also helps our images get found within the dribble kind of infrastructure so if you're not sure you click on over here these are recommended based on your tag history and popular tags across dribble so i might put for example email spell this correctly email and then i can put uh marketing email marketing came up we put marketing we, we can put conversions uh, there and we can put in a few tags here then we can put description now the great thing is we can put a link in this description and when we actually make this image go public all links naturally are clickable now they are no follow links so uh, no link juice is not going to be passed from dribble through to your blog post or through to your you know sales page or landing page wherever you may send it but we all need um, no follow links as part of our link profile. It's important if you have 100% do follow or 100% no follow, it's a little bit weird, it's not natural. So you do need a mixture of do follow and no follow links. So while these are no follow, don't think that's a bad thing. So I'm just gonna pause this video and I'm gonna type out a little description. So be right back. Okay, so I've typed something in. So this is a graphical representation for video marketing inside of members that help understand the process of inboxing and then getting email conversions. And then I've just put a link here. Now it's a link to my homepage, but you could link to a blog post, you could link to a YouTube channel, you could link to a landing page, a sales page, anything that I guess is somewhat related to that image. And as I mentioned, it may be um, no follow, but over time when you start building out your profile and adding images and people start watching or viewing your images, then the potential for people to click through to that page is going to increase. So I don't actually check this. I'm not a pro, I'm not a pro um, user. So it's a little bit outside. So let me just bring this up a little bit. So I'm gonna click on publish to dribble. So we'll click on that. Just gotta wait a few seconds for it to publish and then it will publish or it will tell us if we need to change stuff. And you can see here, that now the image is there and you can see by default this is now clickable so we've got that now of course if you become a pro member which is not free you are going to get the ability to have your image shown to more people and you're going to have a little bit more you know say in what you can or can't do now if i was to click on go pro for example i'll just give you an idea 
Um, we've got $5 per month or we have $15 per month. Now with $5 per month, you can um, get your upgraded profile so you can put links in your profile. You can sell stuff if you want to. Uh, $15 a month, you get access to a few extra things. I'm sure for most people probably wouldn't need this you could potentially do this i'm going to play around with this for a bit longer and see now if we pay monthly that's if you pay yearly if you pay monthly it goes up to twelve dollars but i mean five dollars a month over a year is not a whole bunch and if you uploaded one image per day you know one inch per day 365 images per year and you're a pro user you've got a decent profile with your social media links and you're reachable and you've got your links and all your images there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't take advantage and get a ton of traffic and you can link to opt-in pages you can link to youtube videos to your channel grow your youtube channel that way it's entirely up to you but you don't have to be a graphic designer to take advantage of websites like this so that is just one traffic source of many traffic sources out there that you can potentially use to get more eyeballs on your stuff. I hope you enjoyed this brief video. Um, check out Dribble. It's uh, again, it's free to join. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.